Regular back training helps correct posture, get rid of stoop, improve strength and form a harmonious shape. In this video, I'll show you 6 best exercises that will make your back wider. The last exercise is a game changer, so watch the video till the end, it will be interesting. Let's go! The way your back will look is determined by the trapezius, rhomboid, teres major, teres minor and latissimus muscles. To ensure a symmetrical look and maintain health, you need to train them all. Along the spinal column, from the sacrum to the skull, there is an erector spiny muscle. It also needs to be strengthened to avoid injury during strength training and to ensure good posture. The exercises that we will talk about are the best, because they have been proven to be effective during scientific research. Scientists used electromyography to measure electrical activity in muscles while performing various exercises. How to pump up your back correctly? Perform basic exercises and apply isolated loads, increasing the impact on the target muscles. Work smoothly without jerking. Increase the weight gradually. Don't take heavy weight if it significantly limits the amplitude. Maintain a neutral spine position and don't slouch. Select the weight of the equipment in such a way that the last repetitions in a set are difficult, but without compromising the technique. If the movement is performed with body weight, do it as much as you can. The first exercise is a lat pulldown. Sit on a bench, press your feet to the floor. Grab the handle with a straight grip slightly wider than your shoulders. This position of your hands will allow you to put more stress on your latissimus muscles. You can tilt the body back a little and fix it in this position. Fixation is very important. If you want to fully load your back, swinging must be eliminated. Lower your shoulders and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Pull the handle until it touches your chest. And then smoothly and under control, return it to the style in position. You can vary the load on the muscles by changing the type and width of your grip. It is believed that a wide front grip affects the middle of the lats, a reverse grip works the bottom, and a narrow grip shifts the load to the middle of the back. Perform 3 to 5 sets of 10 to 12 reps. The second exercise is a seated row. In addition to the lats, seated rows work the mid trapezius and rhomboids well. Therefore, if you want to pump up both the upper and lower back with one exercise, include this option in your workout. Out. Sit on the bench, place your feet on the platform and grab the handle. Lower and straighten your shoulders, straighten your back. As you exhale, pull the handle toward your stomach, then return it to the starting position and repeat. Do 3 to 5 sets of 10 to 12 reps. The third exercise is a pull-up. For maximum loading of the latissimus muscles, use a straight grip slightly wider than shoulder width. Grasp the horizontal bar, lower your shoulders and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Pull yourself up so that your chin goes beyond the level of the horizontal bar, then lower yourself down and repeat. When doing pull-ups, don't jerk or swing. At the top point, don't pull your chin up to reach the horizontal bar. At the bottom point, keep your shoulder blades squeezed. You can make the exercise more difficult by wearing a weight belt. Out. Perform 3 to 5 sets of as many reps as possible. The next exercise is a single arm row. Stand next to a bench so that it's parallel to you. Place the same side hand and knee on it and firmly plant your other foot onto the floor. Reach down with your free hand and grab a dumbbell. Keep your back flat and your head in a neutral position. Row the dumbbell to your side until your elbow passes your torso. Do 3 to 5 sets of 10 to 12 reps. The next exercise is a deadlift. This exercise for the back extensor muscles also works well on the buttocks and hamstrings. Stand over the barbell with the bar over the laces of your sneakers. Push your hips back, bend over with a straight back, and grab the barbell with an overhand grip slightly wider than shoulder width apart. As you exhale, straighten your hip and knee joints, keeping your back straight. Bring the barbell close to your shins, almost touching them. Lower it to the floor and repeat. Perform 3 to 5 sets of 6 to 8 traps. The last exercise is a hyperextension. This exercise is often used at the beginning of a workout to warm up and strengthen the back, buttocks and hamstrings. Adjust the exercise machine. Your eli crests shouldn't touch the pillow. Place your shins behind the soft rollers of the exercise machine from below. Your feet should be pressed firmly against the platform. Stretch your body in one line from your feet to the top of your head. You should maintain a natural arc in your lower back. Then lower yourself down to the end of the wrench. You should keep your neck in line with your back. Then smoothly rise to the starting position and repeat. Do 3 to 5 sets of 15 to 20 reps. By the way, friends, be sure to watch other videos on this channel. The links are on the screen right now. See you soon.